I'm, I'm, I'm hoping uh, Caruso is okay, unless he's just trying to catch up on uh, seasons of Cobra Kai like we that uh, that me and you have been doing. Because I heard uh, <laughs> oh, on Twitter man. you're so wait, did you okay? So we won't talk about three yet, but did you watch at least the first two seasons? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've watched all the way through to the end of the third one, so I don't want to give spoilers away for for the people who are still trying to catch up. But but yeah. I'd, it has no business being as good as the show. Is. It's <laughs> See, so a, much fun. It's, Give it all the Emmys, all the Golden Globes. It is fantastic. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's for for it being a cheesy '80s movie and what they're doing with it, like they're creating like their own like Marvel like universe in a way. Like it's pretty cool. Yeah. Like it's pretty cool. Like I, I I always wanted to get your take on it because I know uh, you know yeah you you watched it you watched it all. So like overall you could like sell it to somebody that uh, that is trying to like, is on the fence of trying to watch it. All right, so. What his, I like that you brought the MCU into this because I think this is a big part of the success, both for the MCU and for Cobra Kai. In the MCU, they didn't try to like Christopher nullify the, the, the movies where they made them super dark and super gritty and there's no humor. Yeah. Batman's like borderline killing people. Like in, in, in Marvel movies, they have no problem whatsoever having Paul Rudd sit there and just kind of place a slapstick character and, and, Civil War, and uh, and I think that's really helped endear that entire universe to a broader fan base that just wants to go there, turn their brains off, have fun, yeah. And then while also not cheapening the product overall, and I think Cobra Kai does this a lot too, where they lean into the eightiesness about it. Like, <laughs> I I don't want to get into season three, but but like they 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 lean fully into the thing that is going to save these kids is learning how to karate chop ice <laughs> and it's, just like, it's absolutely ridiculous but in all of the best ways it's, it's incredible and it's great and if anything we me and you should start our own cobra kai podcast so we could talk about it <laughs> I'm, i'd be down with absolutely. it absolutely <laughs> yeah it'd be so good <laughs> uh well, well that's like, a, uh, hate to cut you off anthony but uh that's a that's yeah. the type of we have for right now uh unless you want to stick around yeah. is that cool uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to keep going. Yeah, absolutely. All right. We're going to take a short break, and we'll come right back with Anthony Irwin, ladies and gentlemen, here on Fear LA. Uh, Mark Gonzalez, Zach Elk, Mike Gary on the ones and twos. We got on the phone right now, Anthony Irwin, and uh, we left off on a cliffhanger, a cliffhanger of a question. We were talking about Cobra Kai, and you mentioned something about, like, how NBA were, like, letting in fans, and it was kind of, like, traumatic and stuff, and that's how I felt about season three, because I'm not, again, going to give away any spoilers, but... There was a lot of bodies there, and I'm just like watching it, going like, "Was this shot in 2020?" Because there's a <laughs> lot of people without masks on. <laughs> yeah, I, with, I'm like I said, every time I see any kind of collection of people together, I'm just saying, "How did they do this? When was this done?" I feel like the season two ended long enough ago that they would have shot season three and been relatively safe. I, I think. It just depends on how long it took to, to shoot that season three. But, but yeah, I mean, I, it's kind of impossible to uh, social distance in a movie that is based completely around fighting. I, I think that's, that's kind of a, a tough line to, to straddle. But uh, as long as they did everything safely and so long as they, uh, er- everybody was out of get, able to get out of there safely, uh, they produced a real, like season three might have been my favorite season thus far. Like it was, it was, it was a really great season. They ended it really well. Uh, found a way to really tie in all of the characters or a couple of the the characters from the movies that we hadn't quite seen yet. It was, it was great. I I really enjoyed it, and uh, I. <laughs> it's so funny to tell people like when they ask, "Hey, what are you watching so far?" I'm like, "Well, remember the Karate Kid?" <laughs> 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 they actually they. They they put a sequel to it like, but he's not a kid anymore. That's like, the whole point, and he's still like, for some reason though, Ralph, Ralph Macchio like didn't do a single like curl yeah. even accidentally <laughs> between <laughs> between the Karate Kid shootings like way back in the eighties to now. He just looks he just looks completely like his ch- his chest has been caved in, and, <laughs> and then that, like he's there going up against the you know he's fighting against these these guys who. Uh, have done any exercise whatsoever, and yeah, he's supposed to be this like underdog guy, and 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 you're supposed to make that believable, but but 
it's it's not. <laughs> I'm willing to ignore it. I'm willing to ignore it because the show's great, but it's just not at all believable. No, let me. Okay, so in season one, I remember watching it and like when the, he had to kick the cup of boba out of the other car dealer's hand, and when he kicked uh-huh. it. I remember looking at the kick, and I'm someone that do, does like Muay Thai, and I'm like looking at him like, "Yo, I could take Ralph Macho, <laughs> like I could whoop that ass." Like that kick was amateur, dude. I, it's, I remember Anthony tweeting something about that about yeah, Ralph Macho being out of shape, and I laugh because during season, like I, I I noticed the comparisons between one and two. Like one, it looks like they had a small budget. Two, he got some work done. They had a better makeup artist, but like his boobs yeah. are way floppier than mine, and like I'm way more out of shape. Like, I, I, and I, I laugh so hard when he, when he tweeted that about him because I was like, yeah, what the heck, dude? Like, you're, you're, you're in Hollywood. You're supposed to, like, at least do a couple push-ups.